morning everyone welcome back to the vlog channel it is another beautiful day in New York well it's beautiful to Maine because it's New York but it is a little bit gloomy and rainy outside and there's supposed to be thunderstorms later today so I am just walking into Central Park I'm gonna go for a nice stroll I was actually supposed to have a photo shoot here today because my friend who lives in New York is a photographer so we we're gonna shoot together but she ended up getting sick at the last minute so I'm just gonna walk and uh, Hopefully, hopefully spot some girls who look like they can take good pictures and ask them to take a picture for me. Cause I have like no Instagram pictures from this trip. So I I'm gonna try to ask some strangers. I had to go over to the Apple store this morning. I didn't really buy anything though. I just bought a hard drive. But if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, I uh, had a problem with my laptop and it wouldn't turn on. The screen wouldn't work. So I go into the store. I'm thinking this is gonna be an expensive repair. I'm not gonna be able to edit for the rest of the trip. And then literally like, as soon as I go in, she's able to reset the computer and no problems, ran a diagnostic, no problems. So it must have just been a freak issue. I'm hoping that if there is a bigger underlying problem that it can wait to be fixed till I get to San Diego so that I can edit and work on my laptop for the rest of the trip. my gosh you guys that was crazy it's pouring rain I was walking through Central Park and there's like a slight drizzle and that's it like barely anything I don't have an umbrella I'm just like taking pictures and b-roll and walking and all of a sudden it starts downpouring and keep in mind I have my Apple bag which is now wet thank goodness I have my laptop in a waterproof sleeve so it should be fine I have my nice handbag which now will forever have some water spots on it but hey I will always remember the time I got stuck in the rain in the middle of Central Park. My hair is wet, my face is wet. It took me like 15 minutes to walk out of Central Park to a point where I can call an Uber. So my Uber's three minutes away right now. It's gonna be taking me to the TKTS booth at Lincoln Center, where I'm going to buy a last minute Broadway ticket for tonight. So that was a little crazy. That was not what I expected. But you know what? Okay, it's part of the adventure. back in my hotel room. I changed because my dress got a little bit wet from all the rain and you can see my hair suffered a little bit too. It's a little wavy now even though I straightened it this morning. I got a ticket for Anastasia which was my first choice and I'm very excited to see it. This show has been on Broadway for I think about two years now and it's been one of those that was always on my list of potential shows to get at TKTS but it always ended up getting like overshadowed by another option and I just decided this trip I'm making it a priority. I was hemming and hawing if I should do Anastasia or My Fair Lady and I went with Anastasia. So I am very excited. I'm gonna go grab some dinner before I head off to the show. I am alone in the hotel room now because my dad flew out this morning. He was only here for two days. Usually he would have wanted to like extend and stay with me for the extra days, but he had just come off of a week trip to DC and to Vegas for other work commitments. If you guys saw the Seattle vlog, that is why my dad wasn't in Seattle. He was working, so he was very excited to go home and felt like he had been on the road for long enough. So I'm here for New York City and Broadway and theater and exploring, but I'm also here for Generation Beauty New York because I really like that event. I always enjoy attending it when it's in LA or San Francisco. So the event is on Saturday, but tomorrow, Friday, they usually have a creator party the night before and they usually send out invitations on email, but I haven't got one. So I don't know if I'm just like not invited or if they're not doing it in New York because I've never been to Generation Beauty New York. Obviously it'd be fun to go to a creator party, but Ultimately, I think I might be a little bit excited if it ended up not happening because, you know, your girl loves Broadway and I would love to be able to see either Pretty Woman, My Fair Lady, or a new show. It's a play, it's called American Sun and it only started previews like four days ago. And one of my favorite Broadway actors, Jeremy Jordan is in it. So I'm a little bit tempted by that. We'll see though, we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like play it by ear for tomorrow. I am going to relax for like 30 or 40 minutes and maybe edit some vlogs now that my laptop is working again. I'll grab some dinner and then and I will be heading to Anastasia. So I 
just finished up at the stage door of Anastasia. The show was amazing. The music was wonderful. The costumes were phenomenal. I'm honestly a little mad at myself that I waited this long to see it because it was phenomenal. And I know I say that about every Broadway show I see and everyone's gonna say, Sierra, you just love all musicals. And you know what? You're probably right. But Anastasia was great. Loved it so much and I had an awesome seat. I was nine rows back center orchestra on the row. I got my ticket for like 80 something dollars. Usually those tickets would be like 200 plus. So shout out to TKTS. I did a video, was it yesterday or the day before, where I talked all about how I get discounted Broadway tickets. So if you wanna check that out, I will link that in the description or you can click that card right there. So here is my signed playbill. Unfortunately, Christy, who plays Anastasia, didn't come out tonight. She's been playing this role for like two years and everyone on all the Broadway subreddit pages says that she's like the best person at stage doors. So I was a little bit bummed that she didn't come out, but everyone else from the cast was so nice and so wonderful. So I just have a short walk back to my hotel and luckily it is not raining. There's like an occasional sprinkle here and there, but nothing major. So I think I'm just gonna head right back to the hotel and go to bed because I don't even know what time it is, but your girl is tired. After a long night at the karaoke bar last night and an early morning this morning I'm ready for a good like 10 hours of sleep I'll see you guys tomorrow all right what's up you guys I am just about to get ready for my last day in New York and I was reading a bunch of Instagram DMs this morning while I was like waking up you know I always like play on my phone when I wake up and I realized that there's something that I totally forgot is not common knowledge and I should probably talk about and explain to you guys. And that is the concept of stage dooring and how I get my playbill signed. So I'm gonna talk about this real quick and just tack this on to the end of the vlog. So if you aren't interested in what stage dooring is or like tips and tricks for it, that's totally fine. You don't have to watch this. Thanks for watching the first part of the vlog. But when I first started going to shows, to Broadway shows, my first couple, I had no idea that stage dooring was a thing. And I think as like a young teenager, when I saw my first Broadway show, I really really would have loved to do that and I just didn't know what it was so if any of you guys love Broadway love musical theater and you don't know what stage drawing is here's how to get your playbill signed and meet all the actors after the show so as soon as the curtain goes down and people start exiting the theater you can head out to the stage door literally the door from the stage to the street and there are barricades set up so that you can have your playbill out take pictures talk with the actors as they're leaving the theater from their performance stage drawing is a really like long honored tradition in the theater and not every actor comes out not every actor has to come out it's not part of their job but some of them do and it's really really fun and a really awesome experience and you get a completely free souvenir from your experience at the show so the best way to do this is when the show ends and don't leave before the curtain goes down don't leave during curtain call is very rude they just put on an awesome show so once the curtain goes down head out of the theater and ask one of the ushers those are the people who help everyone to their seats before the show ask one of the ushers where the stage door is and they'll be able to tell you you know oh it's outside to the right of the theater outside to the left of the theater and make sure that you ask and don't just try to find it yourself because you will get a much better spot the quicker that you can get there so once you find where the stage door is there will usually be a barricade set up and you want to just get anywhere on the barricade it doesn't matter if you're closer to the door or further from the door they're gonna walk all the way around the barricade so it's better to have a spot like right in front of the barricade than to be like closer to the stage door or further from the stage door the distance doesn't really matter there will be a stage door manager standing there this in my experience has almost always been a man they're wearing black usually and they are the ones who are coordinating the actors coming out making sure that everyone is respectful of the actors and they will also tell you if no more actors from the show are coming out if that's it for the night you want this person to be your best friend they will help you out i one time like was chatting with a stage door manager and then a really big name actor came out and they walked right by me because there were so many people like you know smushed together in this tiny space they walked by my playbill and he saw me and he grabbed my playbill and he handed it to the actor and she signed it and that just really really made my day so don't be rude to this person it's not their fault if your favorite actor doesn't come out they they can pretty much make or break your stage door experience so be nice to the stage door manager. Be nice to everyone. The actors are usually happy to sign playbills, any merch that you buy inside. I've seen some people bring like items from other shows that the actor was in, but 
I usually recommend just sticking with stuff from that show because that is why you're meeting them because you saw them in that show. I mean, by all means, like if you have something that is like really important to you, like for example, when I saw Hamilton, it was Lin-Manuel Miranda's off night. So if I ever went to another show of his, I would absolutely bring my Hamilton playbill and be like, hey, can you please sign this? You weren't there when I saw the original Broadway cast of Hamilton. And a few of my big pieces of advice for having a good stage door experience with actors. Number one, if you know their name, call them by their name. It shows that you are a fan of them. Them. It shows that you follow the show. It shows that you follow them. Number two, don't be creepy. Don't, you know, cry or scream. Just treat them like a person. You know, they probably are pretty exhausted from this big performance that they just put on for you. So just be respectful, be kind. It's awesome if you're a big fan of them. Tell them that you love their work. If you have something specific from the show that you really liked, that's a great way to start a conversation with them because it's a lot more specific than just saying, great job, if you can say, you know, oh, I really loved your tap number, or that song that you did really resonated with me, and you can start a conversation with them through that, and that'll lead to a better stage door experience. If you want a picture, don't be afraid to ask. I would say nine out of 10 actors are usually happy to take pictures. Sometimes some of the big name actors will not take pictures, and the stage door manager will usually tell you this before the actor comes out. They'll say, no pictures or no selfies. Now there's a difference between those two, but you might not think so. No selfies means that the actor usually a big name person, like for example, when Brendan Urie was in Kinky Boots, you know, when he comes out, if he took a picture with everyone, it would take him like an hour and a half to get through the stage door line. So instead, he just comes through and signs. But you are allowed to take pictures of that actor while they are signing if they just said no selfies. So you can snap a picture of them signing, you can post on Instagram, you can do whatever. Now, if they say no pictures, respect that. That means that the actor doesn't want any pictures taken of them while they're at the stage door. But those are two different things. No pictures, no selfies. And your stage door experience will be so much better if you make friends and chat with the people around you. Keep in mind, everyone else who is willing to go to a stage door and wait for the actors is probably just as big of a Broadway fan as you are. So you already have something in common there. It's fun, you can chat about the show, you can talk about other shows you've seen, your favorite actors, and then if you're there by yourself, you've got someone to take a picture for you when your favorite actor comes around. Plus, it'll just make it a lot less awkward if you're like pushing up against someone, if you're like, oh, sorry, and if you're chatting with them, they're not gonna care as much, you know? And if you are lucky enough to be at the front of the barrier for a very popular show, be courteous to the people behind you. Let them stick their playbell in. Let them have a stage door experience too. So I think that is pretty much all of my tips for the stage door. Once you've done a couple stage doors, it becomes like really easy and you just kind of like get the flow of things. They're all kind of the same. I think that stage dooring is a wonderful, special experience, especially for someone who's a big fan of the theater. As soon as I learned about what stage dooring was, I was like, how did I miss out on this for so dang long? So stage door, if you go to a Broadway show or if you go to a national tour, you can stage door those two or even a regional production. You know, there might not be like barriers or anything like that, but getting to meet an actor and thank them for their performance is always a really special thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna get ready for my last day in New York and I will see you in another vlog tomorrow. Bye.